confidence is going to be key for us as a whole team and we were able to build confidence on Sunday by beating Manchester United. The word confidence and preparation as well, I may I add, those two words will be very key when West Ham faces off against RZ Alkmaar Thursday night in the semi-final of the Conference League. RZ is a team that has achieved so much in the Eredivisie this season. It's been one of the most difficult teams to beat in the Dutch top flight this season. And it makes for even tougher preparation for West Ham. All the pressure is on now. We've worked very hard as a team to get to where we are right now. To get to back-to-back semi-finals of a European competition is huge. Despite the struggles we've had in the Premier League this season, we have to get ourselves a little bit further and try and fight and push ourselves to get to the final in Prague. Arda's domestic season is something that I must talk about to begin with. It went unbeaten in its first nine games in the Eredivisie this season, winning seven and drawing two. At the present time, it's coming off the back of a 0-0 draw against the Ajax side that struggled this season. In the Conference League, it topped its group by winning five games and losing one. In its group, it had Dnipro, Apollon Limassol and Vaduz. It won all the games bar the one in Cyprus against Lissamol, losing 1-0 by a very narrow scoreline. The knockout phase, it, things got even tougher for this Dutch side. It faced Lazio and beat them 4 to an aggregate. So as soon as Lazio went out for me, that was a good thing. It, we didn't have to pay to play, rather, one of the most likely winners of the tournament. In the quarterfinals, it faced Anderlecht and it was 2 to an aggregate in that game, with RZ going through on penalties. We didn't have to face Anderlecht again. We didn't have to make another trip back to Belgium because oh, I've done so many videos on this channel, by the way, about us travelling to Belgium. It's actually getting a little bit beyond a joke. RZ's now facing us. The players arrived from the Netherlands to London today and they've been looking around the stadium a little bit. Um, we've been preparing as usual. We're going, we're coming in the back of the win against Manchester United and that's certainly a massive boost to... Um, confidence. It's also given us a lot of uh, of foundations to build on going in for this game and um, that's why I think the pressure is going to be on as well because we've just come off the back of a result and we need to build on that. Or moreover, we are at the start going to be playing in the first leg at home. So we've got to get a comfortable lead at home, something like a 2 or 3 nil, and then we can afford to prat about a little bit in the Netherlands. Well, not prat about, but we can afford to make a few errors if, if we do make them. We can afford to slip up a little bit, but we have to get the first leg nailed. David Moyes is unsure if the game against United will actually work to West Ham's advantage. And... He wants to reach a final. I mean, if he, if he takes West Ham to the final and we win this trophy, he will go down in club history as a legendary manager. Whether you like him or not, he's done something there incredible. He doubts that West Ham's favourites for the game, saying, quote, I have a lot of respect for Arsenal Dalmar. I think they are having an amazing season and we have a tough opponent. Any Dutch teams that you play are always good. I think they're always good footballing teams and are well coached. So it will be a tough game for us. I knew all about the young players and the way they're building the club. They've got a lot of exciting players and they're following the model that a lot of clubs have gone, which is towards the money ball side of things. It's a great model if it suits your club and they have a lot of talented players. The younger players are doing really well and they've just won the UEFA Youth League. They're building for the future. Arzad's going to be out without two major parts of the team. Milos Kirkus and Pavlidis will not be playing. Those guys are injured. McCurkers is one of the best young defenders in Europe, in my opinion, and we should be all over him, in my opinion, in, in the summer. Perfect to cover the left back spot. And RZ fielded the youngest average 11 in this tournament. 
it's a team with a project of building younger players and it's got such a good young core to last for a few seasons and it's working really well for them. It's a very well run club is what I'm saying. Vangelis Pavlidis, as I mentioned, is their top scorer right now. He's got 19 goals in all competitions and head coach Pascal Jensen is in his third year coaching the team. He previously worked for uh, RZ, Ajax and PSV's youth teams. And actually, it's a homecoming for their head coach because he was actually born in London. So that's some, quite something. So former Premier League players actually play for RZ. Uh, Jordi Clacy, who notably played for Southampton. Another notable name in this is Pierre Koopminers. His older brother plays for Atalanta. And also Bruno Martins Indy. He played for Stoke, didn't he? Yeah, he did. That's my Bruno Martins Indy. I remember him because of this. The eyes thing in the World Cup. That's crazy. But yeah. Some of these players are familiar with the stadium and familiar with the Premier League opponents. It's going to be another fantastic night at, at the stadium. It's going to be sold out, electric. Let's make it as intimidating as we can and as just good as we can. It's going to be a special night if we win. Thank you very much for watching this. Just wish West Ham good luck for tomorrow. And uh, in the words of Tom Skinner, I'm starting to be a bit... Nervous, do you know what I mean? Like, 